Hello and welcome back my friends. Baker is my name and Tekken 7 is the game. This time we are going over Lily and everything that we can punish her for, be it launching, jabbing, knocking her down, or flashing. Let us begin. Up first we have down forward 4 into 4. This is a mid-low string. The low is negative 15 on block, allowing you to get a wall rising 2-1 or you can low parry to get a low parry combo from it. Up next we have the legendary Matterhorn! It is negative 15 on block. You can get a down forward 2 forward. Third is her down back 4. This is essentially her snake edge. Uh, blocking this is at least negative 15, but I'm pretty sure it is more on block. You can get a wall rising 2-1 from this. Fourth is down back a 3 plus 4. This is just a sweeping low that knocks down on hit. If you do block this move, it is negative 15 on block, allowing you to get a wall rising or a low parry punish. Fifth, we have forward forward plus 2. This is actually her armor crushing mid. This is a launcher for her. This is negative 15 on block. Yoshimitsu can get a down forward 2 or a hot knee. And last we have full crouch down forward plus three. This is a sweeping low. This is negative 15 at the maximum range. Well, I'm sorry, minimum range. Uh, the further she is, the further away she is from you, the safer it is on block. But it is still pretty negative on block. Starting off with the jab punishment section, we have one, two, three, and then two into three. High, high, low, and then high, low. Both of which are negative 13. Yoshimitsu can't get much of anything except a wall standing 4 or a low parry if you read it. Second, we have down 4 plus 2, which is just a regular launching mid. Unfortunately, it is only negative 11 on block. Yoshimitsu can only get jabs. Up next is down 3, just another cheeky low. That's negative 12 on block. Yoshimitsu can't get much but a wall standing 4 from this. Up next we have back 1-4, which is just a set of mids, this is only negative 11 as well, only can get jabs from this one. Up next we got a minor string, back plus 2 into 1 into 1 plus 2, high mid mid, unfortunately it is only negative 12, we can only get a down forward 4. This is back 1 plus 2, it's a back swing mid, negative 14, we can knock her on the ground for it. This is up forward 3, irregular hope kick, negative 13 on block, a down forward 1 4 will suffice. This is up forward 4 into 3, this move is typically safe on block, but Yoshimitsu does not give a fuck. He will flash it in no sore stance if you beat the second hit. This is forward forward 4, another cheeky low from Lily, negative 12 on block, Yoshimitsu can't get much but a wall rising 4 or a low parry. And this is full crouch down forward one, it's a mix up. It is negative 12 on block, we can't get much from that one either. Alright ladies and gentlemen, this time I am going to be going over her back turn stance and all the moves that she can do from behind. Alright, let's see. Up first we have one, two, just a set of highs, nothing special about that. Then we have back turn 2, which just is a very stronger mid. Shears the spinning edge. Let's see what this is. That's that's the mid section. Sorry. I think you can sidestep in between the two. No, no, you can't. Maybe. Yeah, and I believe this is safe on block, so just immediately afterwards, Lily can just turn around and be able to block again. I think this is just a move that you might have to let her get away with. Tempest. Yeah, that's just a set of mids. Not punishable on block, it's absolutely safe. Alright. Then twist backflip. Ah. I think this may be negative 10. Negative 10, negative 11 maybe. Probably help if I blocked. Yeah, negative, maybe negative 11.
and land uh or no orchid room. Hmm. It's a low mid, okay. Nope. Negative thirteen. Okay, no, negative thirteen on block. Okay. You know if you don't if you don't low pair it. And the last one is this. And that's that will do it for the back turn section. Sorry it's so brief. Through this section of the video, I went through some of Lily's strings, not, low, not all of them, to see which ones I could sidestep in the middle of. Starting with down 4, 3 plus 4, and a 3 plus 4. No, saying Lily is going to do the second part. But that down four three plus four is kind of the starter pack for all of Lily's mix-ups. Up next is her up three series. Her up three has three different ways of going. However, even after the up three, either it can be flashed by Yoshimitsu, it can be launched or interrupted after a sidestep from Yoshimitsu, or you don't even need to sidestep, you just need to do a move that's at least at least faster than 15 frames, and you should be able to interrupt it in the middle of it. Up next is Lily's up forward 3 plus 4 series. She has two moves that are 50-50 coming from this, but according to Yoshimitsu, after those double knees, Yoshimitsu can just flash it in one sword stance. Or if you can bait it out and get a Matterhorn, you can launch the Matterhorn as well. But I think the safer option would be to flash after those double knees. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we have her 10 hit combos. On the first hit, or on the first variation, you are going to duck the 5th hit. And on the second one, you are going to duck and low parry the 6th hit. And on the last one, you are just going to wait it out, and it is negative 15 on block. And thank you for watching everybody. This concludes this video. I know it's not perfect, but I do urge you guys to go into practice mode and see what other creations you guys can come up with. Please like the video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I will see you guys next time.